Hello, Darklings. So this is sketchbook number 13. So we have stickers from Esoteric, which is Allison's band. Grayface was my favorite record store when I lived in Savannah. However, it was a clear sticker, so I painted part of the cover so that it would show up. Skull Candy, because weirdly enough, I live in the city that, or did, did live in the city where that was started. Black, Cla Black Glass, which was a band I saw several years ago that ended up being quite good. Vampire Blood Incense, which I haven't even used in a long time. Robin Wolf, Angel Spit, and one of my coworkers designed that one. I also tied a key to the bookmark of this one for some reason. I don't know why. I can't really predict that stuff. So one of my old business cards that I haven't used in quite some time. I think I got a lot of God module stuff. I'm seeing Depeche Mode. So this sketchbook is from the 22nd of August, 2017 to the 21st of October, 2017. I went through this one very quickly. Uh, Gothic Homemaking by Aurelio Voltaire. I've never actually watched, but I've heard good things about. Um, I guess I was trying to do some, I don't know what I was doing with these. Um, I ended up getting uh, my Blackstone match, and I guess I got some extra cards or something. Uh, I designed this specifically to use for bolt, for lino cutting, so for stamps, which I did succeed in doing, although it was a very tedious process and I don't ever use the damn stamp. I think the only time you can see it is if you get the PDF of my first zine. So this is actually the sketchbook where a lot of my a lot of the stuff from my very first zine, Little Witchy Things, came from. So these these were both in there. It was still August and still very warm, so I drew one of my outfits. Run and catch, run and catch. The lemon's cut in the blackberry patch. Um, I have watched a lot of Buffy. Many times. And I liked this Maine Coon-ish cat because it reminded me of a puka and they are traditionally known to guard blackberries. So this was, I think, also supposed to be a block print design that I didn't end up using. Uh, I don't know if I ever used this one or not, but I kind of like the mushroom lady that I never fully finished. Yeah, same with this one. I like the other one a little better than this one, but... Yeah, and Debbie Harry with bees. Or... Yeah. Yeah, I tried. So this was pretty much what I got when I tried doing the lino cutting that other one. And it worked okay, but not fantastically. I think I was trying to make an anglerfish lady and it didn't really work out. This is most of what I do is I just glue all kinds of random stuff in here and then half finish something. I do not know what I was planning on doing with this. Oh, well, got a lady with too many eyes. Uh, the Big Lebowski, which I've seen in the theater several times now. I'm not especially sorry. I think this was from a frame that I found. Uh, this was kind of a fun ballpoint sketch that has the lyrics to Peter Murphy's All Night Long written around it in just random groups. Uh, my older cell phone, the previous one that I had, I had a clear case on and would draw stuff and put it into the back. And this was one of the things I had in there. More so sovereign stickers. Very scribbly. Has a lot of texture to it. Never saw this movie because it seemed kind of racist and dumb. So never bothered. I ended up putting this comic into my zine. So it was just kind of a like a 3 a.m. thought that I had. Same with this one, more 3 a.m. thoughts that I decided to turn into a comic when I had the wherewithal. Uh, Repo Genetic Opera. I've seen the Shadow Cast for that several times, but uh, Repo was my favorite movie when I was about 16, 17, and I watched it so many times, I now can't watch it anymore without feeling vaguely ill. So I don't really go to the Shadow Cast anymore. Uh, this one was just how to interact with your gods. Again, this is all stuff I ended up putting into my zine, or the, the first time that I ever did a zine. These are all the stuff that was in it. I ended up using some of these doodles as tattoo flash for work. Yeah, all of these are in that first scene. Um, this was kind of technically like a first page for like a weird dream that I had. That I, Yeah, that I never really finished, I think. Or maybe I did sort, yeah, I didn't get to the last page. I'm kind of sad about that because it wasn't a bad idea. I just never finished it, which happens a lot. Little tiny doodles. Uh, again, uh, scribbly 
uh, ballpoint pens. That's most of what my sketchbooks seem to be. I like keys a lot. Keys and swords. Those are big fans. I'm a big fan. Um, I actually occasionally will remember that I have colored pencils and use those while I'm coloring doodles. Um, someone I'm mutuals with on Tumblr. Sketch that up. Uh, I cannot remember this girl's name. I want to say Pliesado, but or maybe it just looks kind of like her. But and then just again, quick scribbly stuff I never finish because that's what sketchbooks sometimes are. And you can't really go wrong with sketching up Peter Steele sometimes. Uh, the curious incident of the dog in the nighttime, which I had never heard of prior to seeing it, ended up being very good, very rough but good. Every so often I remember I have a lot of markers that I used a lot at the beginning of college and I'm not terrible with but I can only use it if there's something on the other side so seeing it chapter one I actually went to that uh, on a matinee by myself with like two other people in the theater but I really enjoyed the first one and didn't really care for the second one again more doodles that I never finished truths and, ro truths and roses have thorns about them uh, this ended up being um, like an underbust piece for somebody. Uh, if you've ever heard of Meatloaf, A Hot Summer Night from Bad Out of Hell has this image of Would You Ever Offer Your Throat to the Wolf with the Red Roses, and I always really liked that opening monologue, and so it kind of was fascinating for that. Ended up turning this into stickers. I quite like her with her eyes on her arms. That's also on the cover of my second zine, Monstrous. The only one of my zines I've done in color because color is just expensive. I never bothered to finish that for some reason. Can't really remember what this is. Ended up digitally coloring these and put them in that second scene. This was a tattoo designed for somebody. This is another version of that same thing. This is explaining what Ogham script is. This was the original brush pen of the comic from my second zine before I digitally colored it. Same with these. Yeah, so these were all in my zine Monstrous, because then I really decided, fuck it, I'm really in the swing of it. Let's make more of them. A Kelpie, because who can resist Kelpies? I ended up digitally coloring this and turning it into some, stick it, some stickers. Uh, motionless and white, which I didn't even make because I couldn't leave work early. <laughs> so that was kind of whatever, and I don't really care for them. These are the very first year I think I tried to do... No, this is the second year that I was doing Inktober, and I was trying to capture a bunch of my favorite writers, and I ended up painting them not in my sketchbook. So this was the second year, and so I had like the list of, of all of the writers I ended up doing portraits of. This one I ended up turning into stickers as well and digitally coloring. Never went anywhere with that one. Part of the trouble is now I can't digital color the same way as I would have because I don't have Photoshop anymore because I can't afford it because of their yearly subscription thing that makes me insane. But here are more fun brush pen doodles. I don't even know where this came from. I think I did something with this, but I don't know. I have a lot of brush pen stuff and because sometimes brush pens will actually work. I kept meaning to digitally color this and use this for a zine and I just never have. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll finish it. Who knows? Kill Baby Kill. Um, saw that in my favorite theater, and I was the only person in that audience who could name several other Mario Baba films, because I've seen all of his movies. Well, barring a couple from the 60s, like Hercules Goes to the Underworld or something, but I've seen all of his horror films. Uh, Nocturnal Studios. I do not... Drawing Sage and Ghost Pipe Plants. These are actually uh, pins that I have on my favorite jacket. So I bought a lot of enamel pins around this time. So these two, Jekyll and Heckle, were actually in a short story that I put into one of my zines. So little Boggart and Hobgoblin. This ended up being in the same zine there, because there they are again. Uh, I did not do the best of job with it, but still, doing a full page comic like that is very different. Rain Tower makes cool stuff. These were original ideas for when I was trying to do some goblins for jewelry making. And this was something I never ended up really doing anything with, which were some fairies in a leaf pile. I meant to turn this into stickers and then forgot, and then once it worked, someone asked if it was an available tattoo design, and I said yes, so we'll see if he'll ever get that, get that done. Uh... I don't know where I was
was going with this. I thought this was kind of a fun design and I just never really finished it. Cause, or I had an intent for it and I never knew what it was. I really like collecting the little notes and stuff, the handwritten notes and stuff that Etsy sellers include because I buy on Etsy a lot. Uh, Blade Runner 2049 I really liked. So this was again from, this is from Rain Tower. I was trying to draw uh, the lead singer from The Creep Show, I think. I think that's what this is from when I saw them a couple of years ago. So there was a Tower of Terror so the Tower Theater did a bunch of horror movies. So Suspiria, the original one from 1977, Odishan, and Hausu. So I managed to see two Japanese the two Japanese movies in the theater. So uh, those are those are fun too. This was just a wolf in a dress thing that I never really figured out the purpose of. What else do I have in here? Oh, that was an invitation to my friend's wedding, and I don't know what this is. What is this? Uh, it's, I guess it's one of those notes. So it looks like that's everything I got in there. But, yeah, so that's sketchbook number 13. Have a good night, darklings.